Hi class, good day. This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today is graphing quadratic function using tables of values. So we do have here the function f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 1 and you are told to graph this function using tables of values. Now, if the teacher will give the table and you already have the x values, so that would be that would be good for you. That would be great because you just need to get the y values. And to get the y values, you just substitute the value of x from this equation. But in our case, since we don't have the table, we don't have the x values, we need to find the center, the x values, okay? Now, before that is we need to know first if our graph opens upward or downward. Now, if a is greater than 0, the parabola opens upward. Parabola opens upward. So our graph, expected graph in this fun if, if A is greater than 0, so the graph opens upward, it will look like this. Now if A is less than 0, the parabola opens downward. And your graph, expected graph, will be look like this opens downward now in this function you can also write this as y equals x squared minus 2x minus 1 this is actually the same okay so in this given function our a here our a here is beside x squared from the general form look at the general form this is a x squared beside x squared so understood that there's one here so our a is 1 beside x squared, understood to be 1. Our b is negative 2 beside x, and our c is negative 1. Since our a is 1, and 1 is greater than 0, so our parabola opens upward. The expected graph will look like this. Alright, so let's start. So we will make a table. So mostly, that would be five col uh, six columns for the table. Mostly. So this will be the table. So the first column, that would be X. For the second column, that would be Y. So X and Y. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mostly, mostly class, they will use 5. Uh, six columns or five values of x, five x values, and then five x, uh, five y values. But you can make it seven columns if you want to. Okay, you can make it more than seven because the graph will be the same. Okay, if it if it if it goes up or goes down. So the thing that we will do here is we need to get the center, this one, the vertex. Because our graph will start at the vertex. This one. We need to get this one. The value of x and y. We will start at the center. Once again, because the graph will start at the center. So the vertex. H and K. So the center for x. So this will be H will be our x. And K will be our y. So we need to get the center. H for X and K for our K here for Y. So we need to get this one, X and Y. This is the vertex, the center part. The parabola starts in this uh, center, X and Y. So to get vertex, the formula for H, that would be H equals negative B over 2A. Now since... We already have the value of b, uh, copy, okay, copy negative sign first, and b is negative 2, put the parenthesis. Once again, do not forget that the formula, it has a negative sign already, so copy negative sign, and then b is negative 2, so you put parenthesis because we will multiply these negatives, okay, then 2, a is 1, this is negative times negative, it will be positive 2. Negative times negative is positive, copy 2. 
2 times 1 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So therefore, our x, the center, h is x, k is y, our center here for x is positive 1. So this is positive 1. Okay, this is our center. Now for x values, it's easy for us to determine what number after 1 is be it, it is because we follow the number line. If this is 1, so just add 1 on the right. Going to the right side, add 1. So 1 plus 1, this is 2. 2 plus 1, this is 3. And on the left side, subtract 1. So 1 minus 1, this is 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Okay, that would be for our x values. Let me erase this one. H is 1. Our center is 1. For the x values class, do not forget the number line. Just follow the number line. You will start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, so on and so forth. 0, going to the right, that's positive. Add 1. 0, going to the left, that's negative. So, center is 1. Add 1 on the right, going to the right. Subtract 1, going to the left. Alright? Next is we need to get the center. For k, this is y. Do not forget, k here is our y, the center part. To get y is simply substitute the value of x from this given equation. So we have uh, the, the given equation, this one. Okay, let me box this one. Okay, y cross x squared minus 2x minus 1. So this is our given equation. So we substitute the value of x. So substitute the value of x. We start at the center, 1. So 1, uh, substitute 1 from this equation where x is 1. So this is y equals 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 1. Y equals, so once again, 1 here is our x. We substitute this 1 from the given equation. So 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Copy negative 1. So our y equals 1 minus 2. That's negative 1 minus 1. That's negative 2. So this is our y. Okay? Negative 2. Alright, so do not be confused with this one class. 1 minus 2 minus 1. You can write this as 1. Give the same sign, just copy, then add negative 3. 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. So our y is negative 2. This is our center. So we start here with our graph 1 and negative 2. So we substitute 0. So 0. So y, okay, sorry, y equals 0, 0 squared minus 2, this is 2, times 0 minus 1 equals 0 times 0 is cancelled because it is 0, negative 2 times 0, that is still 0, so our answer is negative 1. So if x is 0, our y is negative 1. Alright, let's try negative 1. So y equals negative 1 squared. So from this given equation, minus 2 times x is negative 1 minus 1. y equals negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1. Negative 2 times 1, that's positive 2 minus 1. So y equals 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 1, that's positive 2. So if our x is negative 1, our y is positive 2. Alright, so next, positive 2. Substitute positive 2 from this equation. y equals 2, 2 squared, minus 2 times 2, minus 1. This is 2 times 2, that would be 4. Negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4, minus 1 equals 4 minus 4 is 0 minus 1 that's negative 1 
So if our x is 2, our y is negative 1. Alright, last, if x is 3, our y is, y equals, if x is 3, substitute the value of 3 from this equation, 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 1 equals 3 times 3, that would be 9, negative 2 times 3, that's negative 6 minus 1, so 9 minus 6, that's 3 minus 1, that's positive 2. So, if our x is 3, our y is positive 2. Alright, so now you have the, the, you have the x values and the y values. Therefore, you can now graph the, uh, the, the table. Okay, so this is, the, by the way, the center, our center, or the vertex, h and k. And we answered that a while ago. This is the center. Okay, the middle part of this column, 1 and negative 2, our h is, neg uh, no, 1 and negative 2, our h is positive 1, and our k is negative 2. Okay, so we grab this one. So this is the horizontal line, the x-axis, and this is the vertical line, the y. So for the x-axis on the right side, that's positive numbers. So positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. x on the left side, that's negative numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And then for y, up and down, upwards, that's positive 1, positive numbers, positive 2, positive 3. And going down, that's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So let's start at the center. That's positive 1, positive 1, and negative 2. So x is positive. Do not forget the ordered pair, x and y. So we follow this one. x comes first before y. So we start on x. x is 1. So this is positive 1. You move one unit to the right. So for starting from the origin. 1, and then since y is negative 2, you move 2 units downward. 1, 2, so our point is this one. So do not forget class, if it's x, right and left. If it's y, up and down. Okay? Right and left for, for the x and for the y, up and down. Okay, so this is positive 1 and negative 2. Next. Uh, positive 2 and negative 1 so positive 2 for x so move 2 units to the right 1 2 negative 1 for y move 1 unit downward this one so this is positive 2 and negative 1 next is 3 and 2 so you move 3 units to the right since this is positive 3 starting from the origin 1 2 3 and you move two units upward since this is positive two. One, two. We label this one. This is three and two. Next is from zero to zero and negative one. So since our x is zero, therefore we will start at the origin. And our y is negative one. So you, ju you just need to move one unit downward. So this is our point. Oh, sorry. This is our point. We label this one as 0, then negative 1. Next is negative 1 and 2. So you move 1 unit to the left since this is negative 1 starting from the origin. So 1. And this is y is positive 2. You, you move 2 units upward. 1, 2. This is the point. Sorry. This is the point. We label this one as negative 1 and 2. After this is you need to connect the lines. Uh, no, sorry, you need to connect the points with a line. And you will start at the vertex. So this is the line now. Okay. We just erase this one. This is negative 1 and 2. So this is the 
this is the graph and this one on the right side three and two all right so that's it that's how you graph that's how you graph quadratic function using tables of values you far you, you need to find first the vertex the center the h and k and once you get the the x the axis of symmetry h equals negative b over 2a once you get the x just substitute the value of x in this given equation to get the center or to get the value of y okay all right so that would be it so you have a great day if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and do not forget to share this to your classmates and to your friends you have a great day goodbye